Hello students, today we will do detection of anions and detection of anion we have 6 anions in our syllabus carbonate, sulphide and sulphate, chloride, nitrate and sulphide. So for that we have taken uh, right now 3 salts and in the next video another 3 salts we will be taking. So first we will be doing detection of 3 anions that is carbonate for that I have taken sodium carbonate. Then next is sodium sulphide for SO32 minus sulphide I have taken sodium sulphide and for sulphate I have taken Na2SO4 right. So all these 3 salts already I have taken in these 3 test tubes right. So we are keeping these test tubes here right. And in this test tube we have taken lime water. Now for detection of anions carbonate we are for we have to first add barium chloride solution right. So we will be adding barium chloride solution and we can add barium chloride directly. So when you will add barium chloride solution what will happen we will get precipitate. When you are adding sodium barium chloride to sodium carbonate I am getting barium carbonate and this is white precipitate right of barium carbonate. Now let us take second that is sodium sulphide when you will add barium chloride to sodium sulphide you are getting barium sulphide this is also white precipitate right. So first step is to add barium chloride solution. Now when you add barium chloride solution and you get white precipitate see this is also barium sulphate. So all three white precipitate we have got. So when you add first step is for detection of anion is add barium chloride solution and on adding barium chloride solution if you are getting white precipitate all of these that means uh, the anion may be carbonate, sulphite or sulphate. The other three anions are not present that is chloride, nitrate and sulphide. So those three we will be doing it with concentrated, we will be detecting it with concentrated sulfuric acid. So now our second step is add dilute sulfuric acid. So let us see what happens when you are adding dilute sulfuric acid. This is the first salt that is sodium sulphide, uh, sodium carbonate and we will get a brisk effervescence you can see over here and let us not allow the gas to liberate and we pass immediately to lime water. Now see here I am passing it to lime water and we will see lime water turns milky. See lime water is turning milky, right. So this lime water is actually saturated solution of calcium hydroxide. When you pass carbon dioxide gas then what happens? It is forming carbonate that is calcium carbonate. So we say lime water turns milky that is a test of carbon dioxide gas. And another second test of carbon dioxide gas is pink potassium permanganate remains pink only no effect of potassium permanganate okay on carbon dioxide gas it will not react. Now next test is add potassium dichromate I am adding in the same test tube and it is also not having effect orange remains orange and pink remains pink. So that means it is confirmed that the gas is carbon dioxide and if the salt is liberating carbon dioxide gas that means it is you know carbonate an ion present in the salt is carbonate. Now let us take second test tube that is having barium sulphide. Sodium sulphide we have taken add in barium chloride and now it is barium sulphide. Now let us add dilute sulfuric acid. So when you are adding dilute sulfuric acid PPT dissolves and it gives sulphur dioxide gas. How we will confirm that the gas is sulphur dioxide on adding pink potassium permanganate solution see it will turn colorless no change I am adding pink uh, pink potassium permanganate it is turning colorless. So what is the test this is the first test of carbon dioxide on adding pink potassium permanganate it turns colorless see see here nothing is happening means color is turning pink is turning colorless. Now second test let us do that is orange potassium dichromate. So on adding orange potassium dichromate we will remove some content otherwise it is this test tube is completely full. So on adding potassium dichromate the solution turns green. See very beautiful green color we have got this is chromium sulphate. I will shake it whole 
green color solution you will get. See here, this is what is happening, chromium sulfate is formed. So this is confirmed that the gas liberating is carbon dioxide, sorry, sulfur dioxide. And due to which we can confirm that when the gas is sulfur dioxide, the salt is sulfite. The salt has sulfite anion present in it. Now this is sodium sulfate and in that we have added barium uh, chloride. So now it is barium sulfate. And on adding dilute sulfuric acid to this, this barium sulfate remains as it is. White PPT remains as it is. So no change. So this is, this is confirmed that it is sulfate anion which is present in the salt. So all three we have uh, uh, done detection. This was carbonate, the sulfite and sulfate, right? So these are the three anions which we have detected. Thank you students.